Hey everyone, uh, patch notes just got released. I'm just gonna be going over them, giving my thoughts, what would ones matter, what ones are a big deal, which ones are not a big deal. Um, so first we're gonna go over the new Death Knight system. All Death Knight cards with any three rune requirements, Frost, 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 Blood, Frost, Unholy are now removed from discoverable and random generation effects. Um, and I get the impression even cards like Hematurge, uh that you know is only a blood card can't discover a three uh, blood card now i think people are underestimating how huge of a nerf this is this is worse than if it was like if if you only i thought it'd be like you can't discover three if you're not that class uh this is blood can't discover triple blood anymore Death Knight literally might be dead overnight because of this change because Death Knight's so reliable. I think the the really aggro base or the really tempo base maybe, um, but Blood Death Knight could easily just be gone because it just loses so, so many good cards and it relies so much on Discover cards. Um, so th this change is probably, Blood Death Knight is probably dead. Um, I think Frost and Unholy uh, are likely to be okay still, uh, but they're going to hurt too. Um, you know, they can't Discover... Uh, Unholy can't discover another triple uh, attack. Uh, you can't discover Frost or Fury. You can't discover... So just so many things that you wanted to discover that are triple blood or triple frost that were the good cards, you can't. So the discovers are just massive, massively down. Um, this is a huge difference. So uh, a huge nerf, in my opinion, to the Death Knight class and... I think Death Knight's going to go massively down in play rate just from this nerf alone. I think people are underestimating how huge this is. So um, next we got Rowdy Fan uh, going down to three attack from four attack. Um, this is, I'm not sure this is a very marginal nerf. That's fine. Uh, the card was, I think, marginal in some decks and really powerful in others. Uh, but I think this is reasonable. I thought they would lower it down to four health um, to make it easier to kill. Uh, I kind of wanted that, but uh, I think this is it's fine to do incremental nerfs, and then if it's still too strong, it's still played. They could always lower it down to four health as well. Um, over for Seer Frigidara down to a three six. I thought it'd lower the health as well, um, but I mean this matters. So just being a weaker because it's a five six, it's so much stats. I bet people still keep this in the mulligan. I think this card's still very very strong, but uh, definitely weaker now at that. We got a wild nerf twig of the world tree. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, but it doesn't gain you ten mana crystals. It refreshes your mana crystals. Ironically, in some spots with guff might be better, but I, I doubt people play. I think this card's dead now. Uh, then we got Rockmaster Voon. Uh, copy a minion of each type in your hand at three mana. Uh, so, uh, I mean, a very strong value generator. Uh, the problem is Warrior uh, often doesn't need value. It needs tempo, uh, so it doesn't really solve its tempo problems. But, you know, uh, a reasonably powerful card now in the right deck. So this card might be not see play for a while, but then see play when the meta incentivizes it. Um, next, we got Verse Riff. Uh, down to gain two armor, gain two attack. Now actually a decent card. It's like claw, but better. So um, yeah, it could be quite good. Uh, you also have the bridge riff now at five mana. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. So uh, so uh, these these seem decent now. The other riff did not get buffed. Uh, this one is, I thought they'd really lower it to two mana. Uh, Battle card gain plus one, plus one for each video you have. Uh, you've played this game. I mean, this this seems terrible still. Uh, so I, I'm not. This this doesn't really matter. One other attack is not what was holding this card back. Uh, so I think the Menagerie archetype still looking terrible. But I could see rifts in some sort of control package being a viable. But I think the Menagerie s stuff is just. I still not a believer. Um, but uh, Shield Block down to two mana. Uh, and Fright and Flunky to a 2-3. So these are uh, actually quite good cards. So, and then Thor, I love like this one because I always complain about this one. Thor, Belor. Now it's, uh, you could just revive it as many times as you like. So, uh, I mean, never, so now, now this idea might be reasonable. I still think the win conditions for Warrior aren't there and aren't strong enough. Um, the, the life gain, you don't, uh, warrior needs some sort of, you know, the, the druid hero power, you know, it needs a, a way to, to scale up its armor gain in the late game. So it's harder and harder for decks to kill it. And it doesn't really have that. So it just kind of just doesn't gain enough life or doesn't, you know, doesn't have that scalability that other classes have. 
So I just don't think this is going to be good enough. But, you know, these are these are buffs that make the cards decent. Uh, but it's still, I just don't think Warriors can have what it takes. So uh, I made a comment on Twitter where it was talking about, you know, what's happened in different classes. I said, Warrior dies in two turns later than it did before. So it's going to survive a little bit longer before you kill it. So, and then its win rate's still going to be bad. So that's my, my, my prediction on Warrior. Next, we got... Uh, Infantize the max dude. Now this is discover a spell, reduce its cost by one. I'm not sure on this one. That's a huge buff. Um, the fact that you can, you know, get get the the, the cost reduced uh, makes a big difference because now it doesn't cost as much mana. You add some mana cheating into this, or it could be could be a big change. So uh, a cool card. I think people are going to use it in idea Naga Mage. And I think in Naga Mage because it's finale, you can you know use it for the two and get the card for it over and over again so there's some really cool stuff you might be able to do with with this um because of naga mage coming back um this audio splitter down to two mana i'm not even sure on this one um i think three mana cards are often better than two mana cards so uh this one i'm not sure about i don't think this makes a big difference but spiteless siren back down to four mana the return of naga mage we'll see how it goes uh naga mage was tier three when it got nerfed into oblivion so i'm not convinced it's gonna be back but uh, 100%, but people are going to try it. You better believe it because people love this deck. Uh, Naga spell, Naga spell. So uh, you're definitely going to see a lot of Naga Mage on ladder today, I'd say. And Articane Artificer, this is a huge one. Whenever you cast a spell, gain armor equals its cost. I think this card was already good at one mana, but now it's harder to remove. So you might be able to get even more armor out of this. This card is, is just like an auto-include. I feel like this card's insane now. Uh, so huge. I think the nerfs, or the buffs to mage are really impactful. I think we're going to see a lot more mage. And mage already had a solid archetype, even though most of its archetypes were terrible. So I, I feel pretty confident that we're going to see a lot of mage and some cool mage decks. Um, next, we got Stranglehorn uh, Heart, tradable, resurrect all beasts that cost five or more for eight mana. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Like 10 mana is a lot. Uh, going down to eight seems reasonable. Um, just Hunter just doesn't have the time to play 10 mana cards. Uh, so now, you know, you, you might just have a, you know, Hydrothon on seven into Strangleheart Heart on eight, and that might be something that you do. So uh, we'll see if this card sees play. I could see it still not seeing play in Big Beast decks, but it's tradable, so that makes a much stronger case to, to play it, right? Um, <clears throat> so, and then uh, this is... Uh, so it used to be g give all arcane spells in your deck, and now it's give all arcane spells in your hand and deck. Uh, that's a huge difference. Now, um, I think the arcane archetype hasn't uh, really took off, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this one, but being the cards in hand makes the low rolls a lot worse, gives you co cards you can immediately play, I th think makes a huge difference. So this card looks a lot more playable now. Um, next, we got Jazz Base. Uh, now is uh, uh, at three attack. Three attack to two attack makes a big difference. Makes the weapon aspect a lot more playable. Um, so it just seems like a very uh, a much stronger card now. So we'll we'll see if you know the overload the overload type comes into play and the altered cord up, up to six damage. I think six damage is often a big break point. You think of like Overseer for Gadara from earlier. A lot of, there are a lot of things that have six health. So um, getting that six six damage also for the additional life steal definitely does matter. Um, and then Flow Rider, Battlecry, if you overload, load and discover a spell from your deck is now went from a two mana three two to a one mana two one. Uh, two mana minions suck. Uh, in my opinion, uh, one mana minions are so much better. So I think this is actually, even though it doesn't look like a big change, I think it's a really a much stronger card now because uh, it's, it's awkward to play two mana three twos uh, in a discover deck. Uh, so I think this is a much, much more useful card. And then Lightning Storm only overloading you to one instead of two. Uh, so that seems a very reasonable change. Overloading two is just a lot in 2023. Uh, in the world of mana cheating, you just can't cut it with that. That so uh, next we got warlock crescendo take fatigue damage deal that too much to all enemies at two mana that's a big difference now warlock often doesn't have is awkward to play two mana cards but still like you can play this um, to deal with a really fast board uh, I think I think this is a big difference just costing one less mana makes a big difference and then the craze conductor uh, even though it loses loses one attack it's take fatigue damage summon that many three three imps. 
Um, this card looks insane now. So uh, the being able to get the crazy, you know, sometimes you're going to go crazy conductor this and do this on four and just just put a mass amount of stats on turn four could easily end games. So this Craze Conductor card looks really good. Um, I, I want to try some Fatigue Warlock. Just these having these things out a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient, I think, make a big difference. Uh, finally, Siphon sold down from, now from five to four. Uh, single target removal, too good in 2020-23. The six mana Siphon sold didn't cut it. The five mana Siphon sold didn't cut it. Now it's a four mana card. This is in line with power level of other cards. It's reasonable. Uh, but yeah, it's a stronger card now, but it still might not see play uh, because single target removal is so good. But I definitely see this This is useful. And this, what's nice about this at four mana is if you're playing something like um, uh, the cube or the the slime uh, undead warlock, well, you can play this on four, remove something, and then play your slime on five. So having that curve can actually matter a lot. So, and then for rogue, we got record scratcher, same kind of thing as shaman, uh, increasing the attack on it. Um, and then you got this MC Blinktron having more stats. So uh, it's not a just terrible static card anymore. So, and then finally, uh, we got Holy Nova now at three mana. Um, instead of four mana so uh and that makes a difference uh being able to just be cheaper and then uh kiri chosen of loon adding a solar and lunar eclipse uh this was always just too inefficient at four uh for the stats uh druid needs to be efficient so you know now i think this uh, looks a lot more reasonable card we'll see if it sees play i'm kind of curious if it's just kind of good enough and then these this death blossom whomper uh getting down on turn five now you can go coin uh you could go coin wild bloom seeds bin into this uh which could make a big difference so you could you know build the deck a lot more around the big death rattles uh right now everything buddy's running the hero power package so it, it's hard for me to see this seeing play in current lists because you don't really want to play this to, to uh draw a you know gain plus one attack on your hero power but if, if that package goes away you know th this card could be really good uh now so already death rattle you saw my death rattle druid list that just came out or that that uh, on the channel this kind of concept does have some viability so you know maybe someone can make this work but i definitely think this is card still probably doesn't see play but it has way more potential at five mana than at six mana so Anyways, that's all the cards. My impressions, uh, Death Knight got a huge hit. I think people are really underestimating how huge that hit is. Uh, Mage is looking really good right now. And then a lot of the other classes, we'll see. So uh, I think people are talking Demon Hunter might be really strong in the post-nerf meta. They didn't get any nerfs, but uh, definitely going to be a lot of changes. So I'll, I'll see you guys on the ladder. Should be fun. Uh, changes can be exciting. Hopefully a good meta coming up. So anyways, see you guys on the ladder. Talk to you later.